Hey guys, this is Absomalu, and today we're going to be doing a review of Tales of Illyria. <laughs> Tales of Illyria is an RPG turn-based game, very similar to Oregon Trail that sets in a medieval era. You play as Elric, a disgraced noble from the kingdom of Tortha whose family was killed, and you're out to find the one responsible. As you adventure the world, it changes as time and weather progress. Disease, weather, food, water, and morale play major parts as these may affect the outcome of your game and how you battle. With over 275,000 words, Tales of Lyra brings vivid imagery where the graphics may lack. There are six kingdoms and 42 cities to visit and brings over 20 plus hours of gameplay in this Android device or Bluestacks game. And it translates into many languages so anyone can play. <music> Tales of Illyria is a dungeon master based event system so events are random which re promotes replayability. Clickable items are also available as you venture in between cities so that you have something to do. Battles are turn-based similar to older Final Fantasy games, but your party is positioned in a two-column by three-row set, so strategy plays a role in where your party members should be positioned. You have the option to control every move your party makes or to let the AI system do the work for you. Many of the events that pop up while you are playing the game give you options on how to proceed and that will either boost your morale or decrease your morale depending on what you choose. This game has pen and paper style graphics which shows us a different way on how games can look. The music is very fitting and gets you in the right mood for each situation. 20 plus hours of gameplay, changing events promotes replayability, supports many languages so anyone can play. Storyline's great and gives good imagery to the game. Lots of traveling, even so with the random events occurring, still feels a little boring and monotonous. The AI system defeats the purpose of traditional turn-based games. It does all the work for you and you pretty much have to do no involvement. While the wordage is great, there is, there's just too much of it and I would prefer more cinematics. Karma and reputation are not reflected well throughout the game, unlike Fable where if you're the hero they'll be saying great things about you or if you're the villain they'll say nasty things behind your back. Tales of Lyria has a great storyline but suffers from too much wordage, more like reading a book than playing a game. One thing that I would suggest to the developers, little killers of Tales of Lyria is, is to kick back some of that wordage and instead of rats just appearing out of nowhere and it says prepare for battle, create little tiny cinematics where the rat pops out of a hole or pops onto screen and does a little screech at you and then you can attack and that will get rid of some of the wordage it'll add a little something extra to the game and will make it uh, more enjoyable to play. Now in this video I am also going to be doing the Tales of Illyria Beyond the Iron Wall review because the games are so so similar. In Beyond the Iron Wall you play as Kepri, a priestess from Hakashet whose town was destroyed and you are set off into an adventure to find the ones responsible and take your revenge on them. Kind of a similar story to the first one. The gameplay is virtually not different in any single way. There are a few extra spells, but that's pretty much it in terms of fighting and how you travel between places. It's all the same from the first game, which also makes it suffer because when you progress through new games, you expect to see newer updates, newer things, newer concepts, that sort of stuff, but from Tales of Lyra to Beyond the Iron Wall, you don't see that big jump, that big transition, which should happen in games. So that is my review for Tales of Lyra and Tales of Lyra Beyond the Iron Wall. You can purchase it on your Android device for $5 each, or you can go to Blue Stacks and get it for $5 each as well. It's really up to you. If you're the type of person who's a hardcore RPG gamer who loves to do a lot of reading, this is probably going to be the game for you. If you're the type of person who's more into action and battling, that sort of thing, this is probably not the game for you. Another suggestion that I would make to the developers is to turn the difficulty down a notch. It is so difficult to play this game at some points. I could spend hours 
training and leveling and then when you get to the next part in the game it is like impossible to beat and it does not create a satisfying experience when you have to replay the boss battle several times over it creates a negative experience because you're not getting that satisfaction of beating the boss and when you do beat the boss after six or seven or eight times you don't get that like yes moment you get like that oh that was such a pain in the ass moment so thank you guys so much for watching. If I did earn it, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you next time.